Good morning, everybody. Oh, it is a brisk one. 39 degrees, 4 degrees Celsius, and my dumbass left the windows down last night, so I've got crap inside this car now. <laughs> That'll make cleaning the windows easier. Well, I tell you what, she really needs to back her truck up further. I can't see shit. Oh, boy. This is bad. Oh, man. What a boo-boo that was. Side windows, though, I can see out of. <laughs> Can't see out of where I'm going, though. Oh, my God. I might have to turn the lights off and stop recording. But anyway, good morning. Happy uh, Friday, everybody. We've made it to the end of another, for those of you who work a Monday through Friday job, another end of a work week. This is, this is bad. This is really bad. It's not frozen, but um, the froster is starting to do something, though. This car does seem to warm up faster than mine for the heat. Of course, it's got the whole climate control thing. I got it on max heat right now, so slowly it's opening it up. Like I said, though, I can see outside windows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I goofed up um, trying to get the moon last night. I'll, 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 if it's clear again tonight, I'll try again. I had the F stop at like 13 instead of down at like 2. So, using the Sony. Yeah, this is actually clearing up. This car is actually doing, I mean, it's still blurry. I, I had to take my contacts out though last night. The left one has been bothering me again. No. I don't know what this guy's doing. Let him go. Now you turn. Considering I can barely see, it's like looking through an opaque window. You know those like windows that are. Yeah, that's what it's like. I can't see, or I mean, I can see the outline of a road sign. Oh, there's numbers, forty. <laughs> but it's very foggy. Oh yeah, yeah. I. I I'm like, why is that so dark? Duh. I turned it down for when we were up at Kinzua. No, because I am running in manual mode. I've gotten certain things figured out. I just, I had the camera above my head. I'm trying to get the moon moving. I did, it did actually do it. But, and I was trying to get a, a shot because there was a tree branch. It looked really neat, but unfortunately, um, it blurred the moon because it focused on the closer object. I don't know if there's a way to make it just infinity focus and get both. It'd be cool if there was. Oh, man, I got a car coming the other way. This is going to be fun. Lights hitting me does not help either. Alrighty. Well, six to one again today, tomorrow, um, and then close on Sunday. So I'll be going over my mom's. I can't see. I cannot see. I don't know where the edge of the road is here. All right, I'm going to turn you guys off so I can try to see better. Good afternoon, everybody. Another beautiful day out. It's in the mid 60s again. Oh, let's take a quick gander here. Oh, I'll bring you around. Oh, what a what a messed up morning. Initially, I thought I left both phones at home. 
And then I came out to the car because I'd gotten two loaves of Italian bread because we really liked it. And, um, yeah, my phone was on the seat. I don't know why I took it out of my pocket. Unless it was to read off the temperature this morning. But uh, 61 and 16 degrees Celsius. So, and there it's on the seat again. I'm looking at him like, that looks like my phone. <laughs> I was literally freaking out. I'm like, damn it, this is why I should hit the Apple Watch should have cellular. But now, I'm not thinking that. And it pissed me off. This thing will not text. Without the phone, this will not text. I don't know what is wrong. It would not send. It has Xfinity Mobile on it. Would not text. But maybe Samsung is not able to actually do it on, on the watch by itself. I don't know. What's the point of having cell service on it if it can't? Wouldn't text. I even, since I didn't have Terry actually text from that phone, I text Tim and it still failed. So that was not cool. All right, let's see if we can get through this intersection without dying. This guy doesn't know well, he is on the line. Okay. Really far on the line. This big ass pickup truck. Oh, I am ready. I'm ready to go home. Oh, I'll bring you down a little bit. Yeah, if we're going that way, I have to lean it up, get over the dash, back toward me. I have to go down, otherwise you get back in the mirror. There is no perfect system. <laughs> but, alright, let's go home and see the kids. Get these clothes, well, at least get the knee pads off. I did spray them with deodorant this morning. I need to see if they can be washed. <laughs> I do have the other pair somewhere that I got from the thrift store. Maybe eventually one day I'll be able to afford a second pair of them and that way I can swap them out. Might get a couple pair actually. Cause they make your knees sweat. Oh. I'm beat. <laughs> this job is exhausting, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely different than Walmart. Much more physical, less mental. Alrighty, good evening, afternoon. What is it now? 419 and the sun is setting. This is sad. All right, new wiper blade on the car. Even though it said it didn't fit it, it does. Same one I had on it before. Expert Fit Rain X B2, something like that. Uh, it, does, it has to go a certain way, but then it does go on. So come on, Bree. Come on. Come on. Let's get a walkie walk. Come on, big girl. Come on. Priya, come on. Come on, just walk around the pond. Ooh, this is drained completely. Wow. I mean, you keep saying water levels are low. It hasn't been like this since 2020. Words dry. That's sad. Can you get out of the leaves, little dude? Hmm? Can you get out of the leaves? Those leaves are crunchy, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Let's see if we get some lake sunset shots. I don't think we're going to, though. Or pond, I should say. It's not really a lake. But we got to get all the way over the other side where it's really low, too. I just can't believe this is, like, completely dry. dry. I said this was running into 2020. Was that an election year, too? Hmm. Maybe election years are bad luck. Well, I try to have the girls up adjust my glasses, but these Ray-Bans, they do not adjust well. The one arm, the right arm, is really bent. And I think I did that back when I worked there. And nobody knows how to use the tool that I use to straighten it back out. But it's more like right in the, the right off the frame where the arms connect. And it's just, it doesn't, doesn't matter. You can almost melt these things before they'll actually move. I might have to take them to Mike and have him adjust them sometime. I want to go up there anyway. I want to go up there anyway because... I want to stop at that uh, Aldi's there, and when I take my mom out to New Jersey, I definitely want to go to the Tom's River Aldi's. It's right, it's on the other side of the bridge from my aunt and uncle's. So, I don't think they shop there. <laughs> but it was funny, because my mom and I were talking, and um, the manager and I actually had this conversation, I think I might have said it in the vlogs, but Aldi's actually bought Winn-Dixie. And we're kind of curious if they may start carrying some name brands in the future. I mean, there's a couple things they carry that are name brand, but not a whole lot. Well, the sun reflecting off that side is cool. That looks neat, the ripples. Be a neat screenshot. 
No Mateo, no swimming today. No I swim in this anyway. She just wants to sniff. She could care less about a walk. She just wants to put her nose in leaves and sniff. <laughs> Priya, we're going this way, baby. Come on. Priya, let's go. Come on, come on. I'm walking backwards. I don't even know where I'm going. Of course, it'd take a long way to walk into the water. <laughs> Fall in before I... Kind of curious what the other side over here looks like. Yeah, we, we don't come over here very often, but I'm like, eh, maybe the duck pond. Let's just go to Walmart, and then this just puts everything in one spot, especially with it getting dark real soon here. And we're not far from home either. Plus there's water, which, you know, better than south side. That's what they need to put in as a pond. And it looks neat with the sun hitting the trees. Maybe a neat picture. Oh, wow. It's not even to the pipes anymore over here. She whiz. Okay. It's even shot it's shallow for the pipes over here, the overflows. Duckies! Quackers! No. Ooh, we might get some sunset shots over here. Might have to get the iPhone out. There we go. Now the sun's in the shot. Alright, I got iPhone in one hand with the Ford Ford and on on it. I'm using the native camera though. Um even though I am taking 1x shots, it doesn't really matter. But get a couple of these sunset shots with actual photography. Ooh, that's pretty. Yep. Just get, just get near this tree and get that other tree, this one here in it. my favorite time to act I mean this is the nice thing about it being a little bit getting dark earlier is the fact that you can get these type of shots much earlier in the evening yeah Ugh. the fording grip I mean if it wasn't for the magsafe handle I don't think it would be as convenient I don't think it's quite as convenient to shoot with because um, <clears throat> it gives you this back plate back here that your hand rests again. You get your thumb rest as well. So you, you got a really decent grip on the phone. So. People sitting on the bench over here. You're trying to make friends, Mateo. Huh? You're trying to make friends. Duckies, there's quackers. A whole bunch of quackers. Hey, at least I have a door in the sink if I drop it. What you doing, ducks? Getting further away from me, huh? CIR. <laughs> <All right. clears throat> yeah, this is a short trail, not a very long one. But the challenge is already complete for today, so I made sure of that. Come on, laggy. She just, tries, she just is trying to fight me when I want to walk. Come on, let's go. Crickets are still out. <laughs> All right, we got some duck antics going on in photos. I could have used the video. I actually switched over the Ford nap on those last couple, so we'll see how they come out. Now that I'm unwrapped, love doing the circle. Come on, let's go. Come on, Bassett. Gotta go get gas in the car, clean the back window. The... I want to clean it before I actually use that wiper because it's pretty thick. <laughs> Ducks on a log here. Lots of ducks down here tonight. This is even a pretty angle with the sun hitting this way.
Wow, they cleaned all this out. It's be really overgrown right here. You couldn't see much. Hmm. There's definitely going to be some screenshots, I think, out of this. You know, different little angles from where the sun's hitting. Ooh, the big mean ducks are uh, heading towards the parking lot. The big white ones. And this pond is dried out too. All right, guys, let's make it to the car. Not get attacked by ducks. Thanks for not feeding us bread. Huh. Interesting. Oh, we got Canadians out too. <clears throat> got a little bit of everything going on over here. Get home, I'm gonna to try to get the moon tonight with the uh, f-stop turned way down instead of turned way up. Come here, Mattel, leave the ducks alone. <laughs> like the pigeons at my mom's, their wings squeal when they come on, get away from them. You leave them ducks alone, dude, they're bigger than you, and you're pretty big. Pretty doesn't seem to care, don't you be near poop. Eighteen minute walk. Short little walk, but you know, pretty nonetheless, and not at home, so a little different view. <laughs> yeah, I think the reason I actually got navigation with this thing the other day is because it actually got a signal, uh GPS signal, because right now in the car I'm bouncing between two and three bars. But a lot of times it just sits there and spins. So oh, boy, I had to switch over because those drive wires are good until a certain lighting situation hits indoors walking through walmart nothing is in focus it's the weirdest thing outdoors it's the most clear vision i have it's better than these these are expensive and indoors though it just goes completely to hell everything gets very fuzzy i don't understand he doesn't like the fluorescent lighting all right uh we gotta backtrack up the road and make a right hand turn to get gas and then get us home for dinner eh. 439 not too bad okay, better end that workout and end this workout yeah this stupid thing I, I gotta look into that without the phone I don't even know if it'll text with the phone to be honest with you I need to test it with me but if that's the case it's worthless it's an absolutely worthless device to have it on cellular and be paying all this money if the damn thing can't text when the device isn't nearby. The Apple Watch will if it's on if it's on cellular. So like, oh that's no big deal. I got the Samsung watch, it's on cellular. Send failure, send failure, send failure. Piece of crap. Damn crap song. All right, I have a very concerning noise that has happened three times here in a little bit. And it's kind of like when I off balance the car, something is like, it sounds like something's hitting or something's breaking. She's got me concerned. I need to look under this thing. This car, I swear to God. Well, that was $38 in gas for this little car. Which honestly is about normal. Still could have gone a few, I think we could have gone like 70 or 60 miles, something like that, yeah. <sighs> no, fuel's not going down like I was talking about. <laughs> it's climbing back to 331 we're at now. I don't know. It's ridiculous. No reason for it whatsoever, except price gouging. Now the election's over. I think things would have, I don't know, done something, but... I get screwed over until January. Oh, I don't know. all right, off to home. Um, I don't remember what dinner for tonight was. Oh, they're decorating the bridge. Must be the Montoursville Loyal Sock game coming. They fight over whose bridge it is, even though it's in Montoursville. <laughs> it's one of the school traditions down here. So. 
Alrighty, everybody. Well, my mom texted me while we were at dinner that my uh, cousin, he was racing in Key West at the offshore boat race in the Celsius S43, as you'll see in the next clip. And um, he had a little mishap. So uh, that's how we're going to end the video. He is okay. They were both, both, he's throttle. I don't know, WHM was actually racing too. I don't know if he was running both boats or not today. But nonetheless, yeah, he had, he had a mishap where he ended up on his head with his uh, driver. Um, I think the owner of the boat. Uh, but nonetheless, they are okay. So, um, I'm not really sure what I want to do here audio-wise. I think I'm going to cut it down a little bit more. Because these guys are like really loud and it, and it gets really stuttery. Their quality is junk considering what they're doing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the replay. Uh, like I said, everybody's okay. So, but uh, yeah, my, I, I gotta go. I gotta go next year. There is a race in New Jersey, close to his house. I wanna go see him race live and in person with these boats. Um, I had a lot more moon footage of it moving, but I wanna keep the video kind of, you know, not monstrously long. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, stay safe, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Be happy to be here uh, racing. Yeah, no question. Oh, we got Coco's Monkey Meat Celsius and overtaking them. Nice pass by the Boginos. This is a right here. This is great. Neck for neck. Look at that. It was the white flag uh, on the. Saw a white flag out on the. Yeah. Lap before. So Celsius will be taking the inside lane coming into this turn. So this ought to be interesting when they dive into this buoy. Full speed, yeah. Of hopefully capturing a bit of the flip over. So again, uh, as we were commentating earlier, whoa, 